All right, y'all. This is another another good game here. Um, I don't know why the focus. Okay, there it is. Uh, we went to overtime. As you can see, this dude was crushing me to start the game out. 21-7 at halftime. He really thought that he had the game won. And this this is one of them kind of guys that I always say, you know, if you play like this against me, eventually I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to get something. The guys that mix it up, they can play multiple ways. Those are the guys that are more difficult to deal with and more difficult to stop. Um, all he did was just run counters, counter left, counter right. You know, counters basically where you got a guard or in the center, either two guards or either a guard and a tackle. They pull and block. And it's designed to get, you know, huge chunks or whatever. And, you know, to start the game out, he was killing me with it. And I was getting frustrated until I started selling out against the run. And, and, you know, I knew that if I can get him in passing situations that I would beat him. The key to me, though, was winning on first and second down. If I can get him on, like, first and, you know, if I can get him, like, second and ten or second and nine, second and eight, I knew I could beat him because I he, he was so heavy on the run that he just wouldn't pass. Even if it was third and 15, he would just throw it. And one time on them third and 15s, he, he got a he got like a 40-yard run because I was so selling out on the run. This was the start of the game, man. But once you watch this interception right here, and as I've been telling you guys, Ryan Chase is no joke. And I don't know why dudes seem to keep testing him. Watch what he do. Watch this. All right. As you can see, I'm covering him. He got RG3. Watch this. Okay, boom. Yeah, guy. Okay, now you already know where we going. Boom. Hold on, but I want you to see something. Though. Watch how watch how he do some old slick stuff. Okay, see, he trying to get back with RG3. But one thing he don't realize is that Shazi is faster than him on this game. Now, I'm not saying he faster than him in real life, but on this game he is. Check this out. To me, I thought that this was a cowardly move. If it was me, I would have just kept running back and, and, and try to secure it. I don't, he, I, he doesn't get a touchdown. But watch what he do. Click off. See that? He click off as he got close because he figured the computer is a more sure tackler than he is. That right there tied the game up. And from that moment, he couldn't do nothing. We shut him down after halftime, as you saw on the scoreboard. Let's look at it from a different angle. Okay, boom. Pressure's not there. He could have, look, the pressure wasn't even there. He could have just took off and ran. He had that whole side over there. He had all this over. But he throws it. Boom, pick. Mm. Uh, cut back, and we gone. We gone. That was his third pick for the day. All right, now let me show you. Uh, I'm going to show you another play after that that sealed it. Watch this. Now look where he's at. He's pretty much, as you can see how close he is to the end zone. It's, it's, it's do or die at this point. And we ain't even on the two minute warning yet. But he pretty much got me. The game is won. And, you know, in my mind, if I was him, I would have been mi mixing it up once again. But he don't. Watch what he do. Boom. Fumble. And, 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 and look who causes it. Look who calls it. Got to fear the hair. My brother from another mother, Troy Palomali, he comes through, makes a fumble. And I, I not, I'm not going to lie, I swear to God, I, I, mean, I, said, I swear to God, I tell you no lie, I just knew he was going to get the ball back. And sure enough, he didn't. We got it. And that was it. Now let's go to overtime. So we get the ball to start the overtime. Watch this play. Because all I did, I did the same thing to him. You want to run this counter stuff? Watch this play. And this is how he played the whole game. It looks like a blitz. Because you really, this, look how close he is with the safety. It just, it looked like it's an all out blitz. It looked like it's just uh, a blitz all out. It, it looks that way. 
but it's not. It's zone. He's been playing like that the whole day. But watch how we brought Boston with this. At this point, it's like third and four. And I don't think he was anticipating me doing this. Watch this. Bloop. Bloop. I'm going to tell you right now. When you see 13 in the game, you better get back. You better get back. I don't care who you playing with. You better get back. Because that boy got wheels of steel. Watch the boy make a move. Watch this. I thought he had me for a loss right there. And had this been last year, Kerrigan, that line, that dude right there would have got him. But he tripped over him. And that, that's that's realistic because in real life, ain't nobody just going to run through his own man as if he's not dead. He trips over him, boom, and we gone. Bloop. Nice run. And at that point, I knew I had him. I knew all I needed to do was to just get some momentum. And see, this is this is this is when when you got your opponent on the edge like this. This is when play action comes into play. Watch the play action. Now see, he got a single high safety. He's still playing that look, and we playing this ace. See the two receivers right there, two tight end, a tight end there. And then the tight end there, right? Now watch this. Watch how the play action get him. Bloop. Uh. I don't know why the ball the get off the pouncing. Okay. Watch how the play action just eat him up. Watch this. Yeah, look, he ain't got, he ain't even back there. Hey, it's a good game, man. Real good game. Um, if he'd have just mixed it up, he probably would have beat me. But uh, he didn't, and um, I'm happy that we came out with the win. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.